So a lot of you remember that uh, about a year ago now, I made a hybrid Starduster, I think they called it, uh, which was a three element with shared elevated radials, very high up on an 18 meter pole. And a few people have asked me, what are the dimensions? And to be honest, I can't remember, but while I'm doing this, because we'll measure it now, is I want to know, once we've finished having a look at this, I want to know if, you're, if you are interested, because I'll get like 20 made or something of, of the bits and pieces, you know, the aluminiums and the plastics and the spacers, and I'll buy all the right stuff and we can put it for sale if you're interested, because the, the performance of this thing was honestly quite astounding. So how it worked is that 10 and 12 were straight quarter waves up at around 16 meters off the ground. But the performance was about 10 dB higher than a regular, you know, straight vertical on the ground. So how did it work? Basically what it is, it's there's, your coax goes in here. Oh, that's loose, look. <laughs> it's all very prototype. I made all this, all right? Uh, so the ground is connected to, to this bit, and then we had radials coming off, right? And then this, to take the weight out, I drilled some of this out. We, their elements came off here, and they shared elements like a DX Commander. However, the reason that the um, radials are shared is I didn't want 12 or whatever it is, nine radials. So I pitched the radials roughly halfway between 10 meters and 15. Uh, and so it's a shared shared radials and that's the way it goes okay this is quite easy I should be able to give you the dimensions if you wanted to build one you know because I mean it's pretty easy it's basically a quarter wave with three radials so let me get my tape measure out so how long is that so 10 meters is 200 and, it says 229 centimeters and 229 is 90 inches okay Add to that, there's a little tension loop halfway up, which is about 25 mil inch long, yeah. So add two inches or um, about 50 millimeters to that. So that's 10. 15 is linear loaded because we couldn't get it all on, but the performance was great. 12 meters, if you're interested. Could you put 20 on this? Oh, I don't think so, to be honest, because the radials would be too short. Somebody's done it, they emailed me. 12 meters, I'm guessing 260. 266. Oh, beg your pardon. I've got six centimeter fold back there and on 10 meters. So add another six, mm, uh, two inches again. All right, so there's 12. And 15 was really cool. So to the end of 15, this went to the very top of the pole, look. Where is it? Oh no. Where's the top? Because it went to the top and back down. I've got to find the kink. We've lost it. I might find it if I just measure it. Total length, right. 475 add on two inches 475 which is um, 187 inches add 50 mil two inches to that plus a tension loop another inch but right at the top of the pole we t flipped over and came back down that was linear loaded okay I don't know where though, because I can't can't see it. But anyway, that was it. And how long were the radials? Because the radials determine how long the elements are, because it's part of a dipole effectively. So now you can see here, I'm gonna measure from there down, and then we need to add this much again, because that was the tension and that's the connector. All right, so let me just measure this. 250, I'm guessing. Find out. 250. 252 centimeters. 99 inches. But add 
we've got a bit going on here, look. So you need to add 12 centimeters, which is nearly five inches there, and then add that, what's that? 10, 20, about another, I'd say eight to nine inches there. Doesn't matter, as long as they're all, try and make them all the same size. Make them all the same size, they will all have the same current, so be quite pedantic about the sizing. I'm sorry about the 15, but basically um, you, you linear load it. You, you, you go up about two and a half, uh, let me think, I can do this. Each section was one point, roughly 1.8 meters, 1.75 meters long, calculator. So 1.75 times two. So it went up three and a half meters, whatever that is in old money, and then came back down again. So there we are. Now somebody said to me, oh, what a waste of bloody time. You could have done that with an Antron 99. You couldn't really, because I've come back to, to base here. Uh, just to, to show you <laughs> the difference. So an Antron 99, well, in fact, let me just run through a couple of CB antennas. So there was a 5.8 Game Master. That's roughly 5 eighths of a wavelength. Uh, six metres. Or, or two, and that's that's fed at the bottom. Okay. Um, now, an Antron 99 looks similar, but in fact, it's fed in the middle. All right. Which is quite nice because the current distribution... Although it looks like a like a an end fed antenna with the coax coming here, I think it's a bit more of a sort of a flower potty sleeve dipole thing. So the current distribution is for, is higher up, which is good. Okay, so if you've got ten meters to here, all right, and then an antra on ninety nine, instead of the current distribution, the maximum current being at the base, the maximum current I think is about halfway up. So you've got ten, eleven, twelve. So you're about thirteen meters for the highest current. Where this thing, the highest current, is about 16 metres. So I've drawn the two in software very briefly, and then we'll go back down to factory, right? So this is what we had <sighs> up at around 16 metres. You see you've got the three dipole legs, all right? Call them radials. You only need one of these to, to make it work. The only reason you could do it with two, actually, three is for the guying to be ranked with you and we share them but anyway let's uh, just run a plot and i'll show you this is what we were getting bearing in mind it's 15 12 and 10 and because of the height we've got uh it's got a number at the top of the screen here it says 2.8 dbi on a ground mounted vertical we'd expect about minus five so we are about 9 dB better off by being up here. Nearly 10 times the power, actually, if it was 10 dB, wouldn't it? And then at this height, so this is a centre-fed dipole. You can see it's literally a centre-fed dipole sitting on the ground here. So I've moved it up 10 metres from its base, right, 30 feet. And we can see that the far field plot is very good. It's, um, but it's 1.6, 1.6 versus 2.8. So we're near, an Android 99 would have nearly done this at 30 feet, right? I got a dB and a half more, uh, dB and a bit more on this. I've got 12 and I've got 15 as well. Uh, what happens if it was a 5.8, by the way? So that would be interesting. We don't need to match this, but we can just tell it wire one uh, beginning. We'll put the feed point at the beginning and we'll make it we'll make it six point two five meters long. It's about a about a, a wave. We'll put it at ten meters and we'll start. Ignoring SWR. Okay. Uh, 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 two point one actually. And interesting. So in fact. The difference between an Antron 99 and, say, an IMAX 2000 or a Game Master, I think the Game Master is more efficient. If you want me to do a full-blown video on the difference between the Antron 99, the Game Master, and, say, an IMAX 2000, which are big CB, good to see Ringo's one, but we don't get them in the UK. 
we'll do that because I don't think there's a lot in it. It's all about the height. So, what am I going? What have I, what ideas have I got for this? Thing? Move the camera again. So I need to take the weight off this. So this there needs to be less aluminium here. I need a t this plastic piece in the middle there w was to get the right size. So it slipped on the pole and stopped. So we need to I need to get all this weight off. I do need a bit of pillar plastic probably in there because I don't just want aluminium, you know. Um, so it's about as light as I can make I could make it on the day. But I'm going to trim the weight. I would like about half the weight. Ideally, these shouldn't be on. Um, these should be on. Uh, maybe not wing nuts, but um, some other system. And then it's all very tight, and it worked and everything else. But the, instead of forks, you could have ring connectors here. That would be nice. But in fact, I mean, that's all it is. All right, it's just nice. It's a dipole. And it's now a tangled up dipole. Let me untangle this and I'll move on to the next thing. Out of there. So when Tom, Tom and I had a little fiddle around and thought what would be a good idea is to put, let's move that purple light. We've got this thing on the top, this tribander thing is to put effectively a signature 12 underneath it because we've got all this fiberglass and you spare. And we started that project and we found that 40 meters instead of being, I don't know, 10 meters long, only need to be like eight and a half. And the thinking that I've got is that the, the uh, stardust or whatever it's called at the top is acting as a parasitic capacitance top hat. Interesting, isn't it? But then we could have 80, maybe 60, but 80, 30, 40, 80, 40, 30, 20, and 17, and something like that, underneath this thing. So the question to you is, can we bring the coax into a T-piece, okay? Coax into a T-piece, one goes straight up the pole, and the other one goes to the feed point at the base for the 12, uh, for the 12.4, you know, 80, 30, 40, and that sort of thing. Because effectively, that's how a hex beam works, isn't it? You go in one and you come off at various places um, to do that. I don't know. Or does it need a dual feed? Yeah? Anyway, if you're interested, I mean, the components won't be a lot. It'll be uh, $100, all right, plus an 18-metre pole. But you might as well, if you're going to do that, you might as well go for the whole 18-metre nebula, 18-metre kit, the full kit, plus the hybrid top. And then that will give you you know, 15, 12 and 10 with very high gain. So everywhere, you know. It's not a beam, but on the other hand, it's not the price of a, of a beam, is it? You know, a Yagi, where you've got concrete and all sorts of stuff you've got to consider. If you can hear a very light rumble going on in the background, it's like I'm running the generator behind that wall for its monthly one hour special, all right? So there we are, here's the question for you. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. Fascinating, isn't it? 9 kilowatt 2 yellow Mexico, 9 K2 Yankee Mark. Kilo Delta 2 Whiskey Fox Whiskey. Alpha 3 X-ray Delta Zulu. Whiskey 1 Echo Charlie Brown. Kilo Oscar 4 Quebec Mike Mike. Kilo Whiskey 4. Kilo 3, Bravo, Victor. Lima, Zulu 4, Tango, X-Day. Lima, Zulu 15, Lima, Zulu 5, 0, Yokohama, Echo. Whiskey 1, Charlie, Zulu, Bravo, Zulu, Bravo, 1, Tango, United Radio. 9K, 2, Go, Victoria, 9, Kilo, 2, Go, Victoria. Join the weekend, you're all the best to walk to it. Take it easy, mate. Sugar, Victor 1, America, Echo Radio. Yeah, you're not Papa 9, India, November. Victoria, Papa 9, India, November. You're 5 by 9, Callum. Whiskey Tango, West America. 
5 Mike Charlie uniform. Yankee Oscar 6 Papa Lima Lima. Whiskey 5 London London X ray. Whiskey Mike 1 Oscar. Jango, do you want to go out for a run again? Boy. Leave.